Welcome to the 365 Performance Show with your host, Scott Dillon. What's up, everybody? Today's topic is this. You can look cool and go nowhere, or you can feel stupid and get what you want. So, me and my little bloody surfing escapade has come to a screaming halt. And I've been trying to figure out in my noggin, why is this? Yes, it's been getting a bit colder, not as appetizing to go outside in the surf and get a tan and all that sort of business. But I knew deep down inside me, I kind of like, I want to go surfing more, I want to go surfing more. And I couldn't for the life of me figure out why I was facing this resistance all the time. And I've had a few little epiphanies recently, but... One of the biggest things that I've begun to recognize is when I started surfing, I was on a longer board, one of those foam things. I felt like I was carrying down a big log and then I eventually got a little bit better with everything and I got myself a fiberglass board that all the cool kids were using. And I felt like I was looking cool when I had my my cool board walking down there. But this is what happened. Once you get on a fiberglass board, it's harder to catch the waves it's harder to actually ride on them and because it doesn't have as much buoyancy you basically get on the wave uh, later than most people and the ride isn't as long and it's just it's more challenging overall it's kind of good once you've got some skills you can do a whole bunch more but at the moment because I'm still learning I was basically just having I was catching less waves than ever and having less fun than I had for a long time but here the predicament lane I was kind of proud of myself that I was on the short board, but I was more focused on being one of the cool kids out the back, looking like I knew what I was doing, than actually focusing on getting the reps and experience required to lead to the changes and also the experience that I was truly after. And it's got me thinking about how many times in my bloody life this same thing has popped up how many times when I was first getting into fitness and training I thought like I was a know-it-all because I kind of looked the part when realistically yeah I might have looked fit and healthy but I didn't understand the real workings of proper programming strength training periodization and all that sort of business as well as what I really needed to do to change my body composition the way I truly truly wanted pretended like I knew everything when realistically I didn't But me pretending that I knew everything, having a bit of an ego, basically restricted me from reaching out to the people that knew more than me. And the one day when I put everything to rest and reached out, got some mentors, invested a whole bunch of money in my education, my performance and everything around me went through the roof. The same thing happened with my relationship. I was like, everything's cool, I got this, it's amazing, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Then I recognized that I didn't really want a relationship that was just good, I wanted one that was amazing. But, same deal, thought I'd be cool. I don't need to ask anyone else to help me with our relationship or anything like that, I just, like, everything's good. I know what to do, I know everything about it. Then the one day I put my ego aside and I actually went to see someone that specializes in not just helping people in bad relationships, but helping people that are in good relationships make them better. Once again, my relationship improved once again. And then the same thing happened when I wanted to get a bit more connected with myself. I got a few apps from the iTunes store about meditating and I'd sit there on my ass getting the latest app off the iTunes store, paying $1.49, doing it for a couple of days thinking, hmm, yeah, this is kind of okay. Yeah, I kind of know everything now because I've meditated for 20 days in a row. But then really not getting the full benefits that I felt like I could get in my heart. Then one day I decided to double down pay a bunch of money, go on a transcendental meditation course, do that for a big, long-winded amount of time, and then once again, got some more advice from people that know more than me, and then everything improved again. And I see this every time that new people come to train with us. It can be something as simple as a pull-up. 95% of people that come to us, they don't have a pull-up, they have no bloody wear 
near it. Sometimes these people are quite overweight and once we get them a foundational amount of strength with their body, the next step is for them to do slow eccentric pull-ups. So basically they go on the top of the bar and they use their strength that they do have to control the lowering portion of it. And the whole idea is as you begin to do that, you might only be able to control the descent for say five to 10 seconds, but as you work on it more and more and more, the amount of time that you can take to go down gradually increases. And by the time you can really, really control the negative down, you eventually get a pull up. But a lot of people are so focused on how they think they look to everyone around them when they might only be able to control the lowering portion of the pull up for maybe five, 10 seconds, they feel like a goose. The only person that feels like a goose is the person doing it. No one else thinks that way about them at all but it stops them from doing the reps and spending the time and focus on the movement because they think they look silly instead of actually just doing the work and eventually getting what it is that they truly want. And the same thing happens just in general. People will constantly walk around and will ask, how are you going? They'll say, I'm good. But we always say that to people and we say it, all the time, especially when we're not good. And a lot of time our ego gets in the way because we don't want to let people know that we're not in control and we're not in charge. But at the end of the day, without letting the people who can actually help us know what we're going through, we'll never be able to fully change. So my question for you today is where in your life right now are you focusing on being cool like me being in a silly sausage with my fiberglass surfboard. Maybe right now you're going to the gym and you're training and things are kind of okay, but you're kind of walking around like, yep, I know everything. I've kind of got to know everything I need to do. But realistically, if you took an honest assessment of where you're at right now, there's some things that you're struggling with. And instead of identifying and owning the fact that maybe you don't know the best thing, way to go about improving your current situation and maybe you need to ask someone or maybe you need to change a couple of things... Right now, you're just pretending you got it all sorted. What is that area? And most importantly, what is one thing you can do today to move that and get it headed in the right direction? For me, this weekend, I'm going to take my big fiberglass, no, sorry, my big log foamy surfboard out and I'm going to surf. I don't care if the thing's around 12 meters long, I don't care if I look like a complete utter kook. I'm just going to be focused on going out there, catching some waves and not caring about whatever what anyone else thinks. What's the thing that you can do? I hope you have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.